Hi Star Wars fans, Universal Collector here with another video. Today we are looking at the Solo Collection. This is the uh, 3.75 by POA collection. This is the last ever film collection. From now on we're just getting the vintage collection. But yes. This is what I've sort of collected. Quite scarce now, a lot of these figures, just can't seem to find them. A lot just did not come out in the UK. So, we'll start with the uh, carded figures, single figures. One of the rarest figures on its release, the Mimbam Trooper. Yeah, came with two weapons, and for a five POA, the armor is actually uh, shaped so yeah, it looked like he was carrying a gun. Pretty cool. Cool weathering. Now we have a Moloch. Another one. This one's quite heavy. I think it's one of the heaviest ones. Quite a big figure. Don't think you can take it. Um, I don't know. I don't. I can't remember now. Uh, yeah, I think you can take the visor up or something. Small gun. Very detailed stick. Another rare figure. Hard to come by, then suddenly, six months later, after the, there was loads of them around, just weren't getting them, and then suddenly we were. Always away. Wow, oh. not not the most popular figure. It's, uh, good lightness. One gun. Mr. Beckett. I think this figure is pretty good. And it's definitely the sting lightness. Yeah. Two guns. And go in the holster. Nice bit of nice car work. Ah, here we go. Oh, not another chewy. <laughs> Comes with a pretty cool gun. Different ammo pouches and uh, bandolier. I think it's pretty much the same figure as the last uh, Jedi figure with the Borg. Here we go. L337. Not bad paintwork with all the wires. Only the only droid to be released. 3.75 I'm thinking yeah yeah my favorite Han Solo Mimbam 
bit of coca artwork. We've got the pose again to hold the rifle, quite cool. Plastic cape. I think the goggles come down. The mask moves, yeah, and the mask comes away as well. <sighs> Last two of my favourites. Rio Durant. This character is so cool. What a shame it was so cut so quickly in the film. I think they could have carried this care figure on. It's a shame. It's a good artwork, yeah. yeah. You got the one gun, holster, four arms. As we've seen, Qual Tolsite. This is the guy who went in the uh, castle mines. Another rare figure that was hard to come by. I think it still is quite hard to come by. It's got a nice bit of uh, castle dust on it. <laughs> I love the way he's holding that. A pipe or whatever it is. Yeah, very cool figure. Now we got the two packs. Re Rebolt. Right at the very beginning of the film, he's running around with his Carillion hounds. You get the cage as well. This one out of the three became quite hard to find, I think. Another cool one. Muddy Cheery and Muddy Han. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely, you can see the mud on them. I did really think about some of these figures, They're quite cool. Probably is one of the first 3.75 figures with actual, looks like the mud on them. <laughs> He's got the he's got the chains on his legs still, and this stupid gun thing. Which, what is the point of that? Another cheery. <laughs> Come to the last two pack. Castle guard. It's the only way you can get the castle guard is by getting this pack. Lando, well, that's just a cool figure. Get his nice big gun and another massive gun. But I'm saying this one's on the castle mines, so let's have a look at the back. Yeah, it's all the scene in the film where they're shooting at them as they're trying to escape. Got this mission on Vandor set. <sighs> like that. And his furry cape. <laughs> Warwick Davis's character. Is it Weasel? The great big rocket launcher. Range Trooper. This one's got a slightly different paint, feet, the legs have actually got a darker colour at the bottom. And Akira, the only figure I actually own, Akira, wasn't particularly fun in buying many of our figures, but this one I do like. And they should have done the one with the, when she's wearing the, the uh, cape as well, that would have been a cool figure. Yeah. 
Yeah, weasel. It's true, bro. Nice four pack. Only four pack they've released. Oh, Han Solo. Here we go, the mighty <coughs> trooper box set. This was an amp. This was a. This was mostly found an entertainer. When it first released, it was going for around twenty pounds, and now it's starting to creep up a bit. It's brilliant for troop building. Brilliant. I've actually got a squad leader, stormtrooper, not a sand trooper. But, I mean, most only sand troopers I know wear pauldrons, but this one's not got a backpack. <laughs> So yeah, another Mimbam Trooper. Two guns again. Patrol Trooper. This is the only way you can get this Patrol Trooper is in this pack. So that's one reason for buying it. Another Mimbam Han. Just a basic Mimbam Trooper. But looking at his uh, bicep there, I'm sure that was a medic or something. And then you've got Old Faithful, Mr. TIE Fighter Pilot. Always need a TIE Fighter Pilot. It's a great set, yeah, great set for building, for army building. Shame they just didn't bring this uh, vehicle out for this character. I love that thing, but really cool. So different, square and boxy. Uh, Han Solo Land Speeder. Pretty cool, comes with the younger Han Solo. He's got his gloves on, his waist jacket. It comes with a, a gun, but I can't remember him using a gun in the film at the beginning. This was going for about 30 to 40 pounds, and gradually it went down in price. It's now going for around 20 if you can find it. <clears throat> Now the last piece, <coughs> an Imperial ATDT Walker, one of the hardest ones to find. This comes with another Stormtrooper Mimban, no cape, very weathered. <laughs> this appears in the solo film for about two seconds. And there are some deleted scenes where you actually see it walking, but in the film it's just laid on its side. Just a big gun on legs. <clears throat> I'm look at the back. Nice for nice for the add that to the collection. There you go. There is my hand solo collection. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you on the next video.